I do. My name is Anna. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I have to say I have not really felt like filming lately. I've been just kind of tired, <laughs> a little worn out, but my Huda Beauty mystery bag, the day to night mystery bag came today and I felt motivated. So I wanted to share that with all of you. So if you want to see what I got in this mystery bag, then just keep watching. Okay, so this was something that Huda Beauty, I'm not sure if it's still on the website actually as I'm posting this, but there was a mystery bag and all I kind of saw was that it was a mystery bag, which I don't know, I kind of think they're really fun. It's a risk for me because I don't like certain smells and I'm very sensitive to smells, so that's usually the only thing that I become a little disappointed by in these but anyways they're just so much fun so um yeah it was supposed to be and i thought it would be a lot of makeup because it was like day look to night look was sort of the theme anyways let's just bust into this and see what i got um all right so i'm just gonna open this box here and like i literally have not seen even what the inside looks like all right so We've got the lips on the uh, tissue paper packing list. And then this is all wrapped in bubble wrap. And then in one of these cute, I don't, have you ever ordered from Huda Beauty? They have these really cute bags and the bubble wrap is hearts, which I just find to be so adorable. Okay, I'm gonna get that out of the way, whoops. A couple of samples in here, the Wishful Skin, or Wishful Yoglo, which I think I didn't like the smell of, but maybe I'll try it and see if I like it. And then this Water Jelly, fragrance free, we like that. <laughs> All right, and then the whole thing comes in this cute little bag. I think this is a different size than the one I have, so that's cool. It's really cute. Look at that. When it says Huda Beauty on the front. Vanity bag. All right, so opening up. More bubble wrap. Ooh, yes, this looks all, this is all makeup friends. I'm excited, I'm excited. I love a lot of Huda Beauty products, so I am excited um, to see what is in here. All right, so first thing that I see are two different lashes, and these are gonna be huge on me, um, but that's fine, all lashes are. I'm assuming this is the day look. And that's Harmony 17 is the name of it. And then this is the night look, which is which which is Sasha 11. Those actually look really fun. I don't have anything like that. I kind of wanna like try these on right now and just see like how big these are on my a lot of lashes hit the top of my like hit my eyebrows. <laughs> because my eyes are kind of deep set. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, but these are cute. I like them. Definitely don't have anything like this. Um, yeah, I need a mirror. What do we got, what do we got? Okay, I'm gonna use, this is what I have on today, the Rose Quartz palette, which I'm hoping I got palettes that I don't have. It looks like they're both small, so. I only have one of her smaller palettes, let's hope this works out but yeah i'm just curious to see obviously not using glue oh my god yeah that is ginormous i can see how i could make this look really cute though <laughs> i mean it's kind of silly there but ooh, those are cute all right i'm a fan i'm a fan i'm excited to try these okay next up 
I see two lipsticks. Let's go with the lipsticks. So we have Sweet Nudes Power Bullet Cream Glow and is that the name of the color? Oh no, that's Honey Bun is the name of the color. And then Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. Is this a different? Yes. So one is a cream and one is a matte. And this one, the matte is called Dirty 30. All right. I'm going to pull those out so we can see the color. Now, I have gotten bullet lipsticks from Huda Beauty in the past and did not like the scent. So I'm, I'm hoping that not all of the lipsticks are the same scent because that would be so sad. Okay. So this is the shade. Ooh, it is a beautiful kind of mauve. Yeah, unfortunately that is a scent that I cannot handle. It's kind of coconutty. Um, which I know is just a no-go for me. So that I will probably send to my mom. But this other one, this is a cream lipstick. Let's see. Let's see what this one. I love the packaging. It's very cute. This is more of sort of a peachy kind of terracotta or nude shade, kind of warmer. Yeah, it has that coconut scent. Okay, well, you win some, you lose some. This is lovely packaging. I really, really like it, it's cute. Okay, so those will not work out for me, but that is what is in the bag. Okay, and then, oh, a lash glue, interesting. Latex-free, okay. Well, that, we'll try that, we'll try that. Um, the, the main, problem that I usually have with lash glues, well, A, I am allergic to latex, so they cannot have latex, but a lot of the latex-free lash glues that I've tried have dried hard, um, and so it's like this crunchy line, and like, it doesn't hold because when you move your eye around, it has to move. <laughs> it can't just be, you know, like, solid or whatever. I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense there. But anyways, yeah, we'll see if this, uh, how this does. I'm, I'm curious to try it. I'm gonna see if it smells like anything. It says clear tone. Okay, so it's clear, which is good. I, I prefer that. Yeah, it just smells like lash glue to me. So, okay, yeah, I will try that out. Now, this is hilarious. So, I own three Huda Beauty there are squirrels being so cute outside. <laughs> okay, so the eyeshadow palettes, I own three Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, three out of, I'm not sure how many, but I do own the Python palette, <laughs> which is what I have here. So again, I think my mom is going to get a new palette. It's gorgeous. It's really beautiful, kind of colorful. I like it. So I will see if somebody in my fam wants that. Um, but this one I do not have. And this is the brown um, toffee palette. And I'm not familiar with this one. I have heard that the larger palettes are a little bit better quality. I think that they're made um, in Italy or... I'm not sure, but I think the smaller palettes are made... Let's see. Is it USA? What does it say here? Oh, these are made in China. Okay. Or at least this one is. And this one is also made in China. Um, and this one, the large, large palette is made in Italy. Okay. So I think that I have heard, um, 
and I really have my the most experience with these larger palettes. My one small palette, I actually, I think only used once and I, I wasn't necessarily blown away by it, but I didn't think it was bad, I think. I don't even remember. It was just not very memorable. Um, anyways, this is very pretty packaging. I really like that. Um, let's see what she looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I like the yellow tones. I think that's going to be super flattering, actually. Yeah, I like that. That might be good for travel. It's kind of neutral, but, you know, has like, it goes from super deep to super light. You've got a nice um, matte to shimmer ratio. All right, I'm excited about this one. Um, I am a little disappointed that I got a palette that I have. And I was kind of hoping for one of the large ones. The price of this was 115. Um, and so I kind of thought maybe there would be one of the bigger palettes. I don't know um, if maybe some of them did have a large palette. Maybe it even said in the instructions, I was, I feel like I was a little bit sleepy when I found this. I was just, I don't know, I don't know. I thought it would be fun and I'm glad I did it. I don't, I don't regret it. All right, so. Next up, I have this Huda Beauty Major Volume Dramatic Curl and Insane Length Legit Lashes. And I think this is a double-ended mascara, yes. And it's like a mini version, which is great. I have the bigger one of these and I do like it. It works fine. It does um, come off a little bit. It rubs on, um, on my skin and I tend to have, it tends to transfer, which I honestly don't know if I've ever used a mascara that doesn't. So I don't really fault this. What I do like about this, and I don't wanna open it, but it has two different wands and I think it just shows a photo of them here. Yeah. Um, and the two different wands are actually um, like this one right here, I find works better on my lower lashes because it's hard to get in here sometimes. There's kind of a small space there. Um, and then this, this one um, I usually use on my upper lashes because it's a, it gives a little bit more volume, I think. Yes, that's the volumizing mascara. So I do like this one. I do like this one. Um, so that's good. That's a winner. Okay, and then last but not least, we have two. Okay, I'm super excited about these. These are lip contours um, pencils, and there's two different shades. Hopefully, I didn't get one that I already have. It says warm brown and pinky brown. Is, is that the name of it? <laughs> well, that's good because that's not a color that I have. I think I have one that has to do with honey in the name. I don't remember. But these I'm excited about. I love a good lip liner. Huh. Oh my goodness. I remember I wasn't able to get this out last time. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh, my nails are just long enough to grab that out. This is hard to get out. Okay. I do like the other lip liner that I have from her. So that's good. Oh my goodness, why are these so hard to get out? I guess it's good that they don't shake around in there, but I need a pliers or something. Oh my goodness. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, so this one is warm brown and it looks like so. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna color that on my hand. And then I think that's probably the night shade. And then this is, ooh, that's pretty pinky brown. I feel like that just has my lipstick preferences all over it, pinky brown. So the bottom one is warm brown. The top one is pinky brown. I think I'm gonna like that. In fact, maybe I should just try that one on real quick. Let's see. I have just a lip gloss on right now. 
And this might not go with it, but we're gonna try. Yeah, that shade's really pretty. It kind of works. I mean, it looks a little strange, I guess. I don't know, I can't tell. Anyways, whoa. Let's not drop that. Okay. Well, there we have it. I'm super, super excited about these. Um, I feel like this is a kind of half and half. Um, I'm excited about these, like super excited about these. I'm excited to try this. I love the lip pencils. Um, I like this, 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 I can definitely put to use the, the double ended mascara and I will try the lash glue and you know, another thing of lashes that's fun to have. That's fun to try. I wouldn't have tried. I've never tried Huda lashes, so that's exciting. So really the only sort of duds in this for me were that I already had one of the palettes. <laughs> But that's fine. I can I can gift this and it's a beautiful palette. I will find someone. I'll find a wonderful home for that. And I'm so bummed that these lipsticks have the scent that they do because they do look very pretty. And I'm not going to swatch them because I'm just going to give them um give them to a new home. <sighs> Sigh. Okay. Well, that was our hopefully quick little video for today. Um, thank you so much for being here. Let me know if you got one of these, what you got and, um, if you liked it, if it was the same, I wonder if all of them got the little, the mini eyeshadow palettes. I'm guessing so if there are two of them in each. Anyways, I might do a video trying this on with my fun lashes. Um, yeah, that is it for today. I hope that you're having a wonderful, I guess it's not necessarily Friday for you, but I hope you're having whatever day of the week. I hope it's a good one and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.